Okay, guys, I got some recovery error. PC or a device needs to be repaired. The error code is like 0xc, something like 0000f. Let me zoom it and show you. 0xc, 000f. So, if you guys are getting the error like this, you're going to follow the steps in this tutorial in order to fix this issue. One of the other steps will definitely help you. I'm guiding the number of steps to fix this uh, issue. In case if it helps you, you're going to share this video with your friends and family. When I click on troubleshoot, I have uh, six different options over here. I'll click on a startup repair in the very beginning. So the PC will check for all the necessary repairs it can attempt. See, a startup repair could not repair your PC. Either I can sort down or advance option. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again you have advanced option. Inside advanced option, again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B -O -O -T -R -E -C dot -E slash rebuild bcd. And guys, you're gonna press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to type the second command. Okay, guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec.exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. Bootrec.exe slash fix boot fix boot press enter key some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case is access denied two commands work successfully third command access denied so anyway you're going to type all these three commands correctly and then finally you just have to exit it exit the command prompt turn off your pc and then start your pc again or just directly you're going to restart your computer go to troubleshoot the command prompt so in the very beginning, we'll type the small commands and press enter key in order to locate where exactly I have my operating system right now. So type B, C, D, E, T, I, T and press enter key. You're going to see over here. When I move the cursor on the top, it's a Windows boot manage. I do not see any see device. It do not show my drive where exactly I have, I have my operating system. And it do not even show the operating systems. Come down. Again, you have a Windows bootloader. Here you're going to see device, partition, Windows uh, C, Windows 11. And here also OS device partition is C. So my operating system is Windows 11 and it is in the C drive. So your might be different from the C. Make a note of it. We need it later. This kind of error occurs because we are missing the boot files. So we are going to create the boot files into the drive where exactly we have our operating system. So whether it is C drive, E drive, G drive, S drive, so whatever is your drive, you're going to replace that particular 
boot files over there. Sorry, you're going to create that particular boot files over there into your drive where exactly you have the operating system part. And press enter key. So it's going to take a few minutes. Volume. So this will show the list of volume that you have in your system. So you have volume 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is C, D. So here, volume 2 and 3, you do not have a level over here. So FAT32 some things. It's a hidden drive, and it's a hidden drive. So a couple of drives you have over here. So we'll select So let me select volume two. So this couple of volumes, this is a C drives where I have my operating systems. This is the, you can notice a 19 GB. So I know this is the drive where I was having my different files. And this two couple of drives, 100 MB and 499 MB. This is well exactly so some kinds of uh, system files or recovery. So let me check it. I'll go just, uh, since we do not have a assigned letter over here, what we're gonna do is, at first I'm just going to check this one's volume two. So I'll select volume two. Volume two is a selected volume now. Next is, I'm going to assign letter, assign, letter equals so different from existing one c and d is ex existing one so i'll give a letter h okay i'll give the letter p enter expert successfully assigned a drive letter or mount point now i'll exit from the disk part so volume 2 is now p so for the volume two, I've given the letter P, like C and D, it is in a P drive now. Exit it. Now let me enter, enter the P drive, and let me type DIR. So here we got EFI, but we do not have a boot files. So what we'll do, let me see if we have a boot files over there in the EFI. So we will get inside EFI, and then we'll press type DIR, so here we have a boot file. See when you got the Microsoft. So let me change the directory to Microsoft. And let me type DIR. So here we got for boot files even inside the Microsoft. Now let me get inside the boot. Okay. Now I'll type the very simple commands. B C D boot C drive. Why C drive? Because I told you in the very beginning, in the very first step, before I begin with the first step, this is the second uh, solution. The first solution was we, are, we copied the boot files from the X drive. Now we are copying the boot files from the P drive. So in the very beginning, I told you to make a knot where exactly you have the broken operating system, the existing operating system drive. So you're going to use that later in place of C. If your is also C, you're going to use C. If your is different from C, you're going to use that later. So do not do exactly what I'm using the later drive later over here. That is why I told you in the very beginning itself, make a knot of it. Where exactly you have your operating systems forward slash L and ENUS. EN minus US. And hit enter key. Sorry, I made a small mistake. BCD boot needs to be together. Press enter key. Boot file successfully created. 
So execute this uh, couple of mode commands. So boot fast successfully created. So we'll execute this couple of mode command. So there should not be the space. Boot files successfully created. I will execute one more last commands. So I'm telling you again and again, replace this C with your drive where exactly you have your broken operating systems. I told you, how do you figure out the drive in the very beginning of the video only? Where exactly you have your operating system, broken operating systems, and even I told you to make a note of it. So use that particular drive later over here. So boot file successfully created. And click on continue, exit and continue, and your Windows 11 or even Windows 10 operating systems must be working fine now. You must get out of the loop. Continue and it needs to be working fine you must be able to load your operating systems. So this was the few easy ways that you can fix these problems and you can load your operating systems. Uh, see, it needs to be working now. So finally, now you can log in into your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. You're gonna choose Command Prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just keep some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. Okay guys, you're gonna type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes the issue. You're just gonna choose, it's a troubleshoot. And here you have, uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay guys, this will restart your PC and after restarting, this is what you get. Your account, one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you 
click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once it's, once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC all the way ready to use.